All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Today we got a 2001 Ford Expeditions. Customer's complaint is, it's gonna be a weird complaint here. <laughs> Step on the, this got adjustable brakes. Go to adjustable, adjust the brakes. You hear a lot of crunching noise going on down there. Uh, brake lights stay on a lot, end up blowing out the bulbs, causing a little melting of the wires in the back. Yeah, a whole little thing going on. So we're about to check that out and see what the heck is going on right here on Astral Auto Repairs. All right, guys, let's do it. Here we go. Here's our switch right here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that thing, so that thing gets stuck. It's like it stopped. That's all the way to the top. It stops right there. What the? the heck is going on here and let's go back here and check these look at that look at that look at that heating up right there wow all right let's uh get us a light and go up under here and see what's going on You know what guys let me uh take this mic off so i can get the camera up there to get a better angle bear right back all right guys we're up under here and there's our motor this lighting sucks guys i know there's our motor to adjust for the brake pedal and the gas pedal you know what this is not going to work and the gas pedal let's go back over here to the brake pedal let's see here now let's see if we can move this switch and see what the heck it's hitting on here. Man, this this sucks. This lighting that ain't no good. See now, if I can hold it right there, I'd be okay. Let's see if we can move it. Wait a minute, look at that. It's hitting up against the, the brake switch right there. Watch when I adjust it again. Ah, uh, I know the lighting sucks. I can't hold it right here. Let me see if I can hold it at the same time. Watch that, watch when it comes down. It squishes the brake light switch. See that? That is definitely the problem here. I'm looking at this, and I think this is, wait a minute, this is all, what the, somebody been up. Somebody been up under here, guys. Look at this. The harness is the harness is going around the wrong way because I think this is supposed to be facing downward, and it's not. So what we need to do is take take this thing off and see what the heck going on here. And uh, let me see. We got a. On this side, if you can see it, you see that yellow clip? Right up there. I gotta remove that yellow clip to take that off. And it's pretty easy to, to that's all you gotta do is pull the tab, pull the top of that clip back and down. Dang it, man. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, what I did was use my needle nose, and what you're gonna do is just grab it to that tip right there and just pull down, and it'll come right off. I'm still kind of sucky with my lighting. You know, 
this sucks. Where's my light at? All right, let's pull this off. Let's see, then I'm gonna go blocking the light. There we go. All right, there's our switching. Look how they got it wrapped around this. And it actually shouldn't have came off so easy. Let's get this switch unplugged. And by pulling that little tab down right there, squeezing that tab into the connector. And I'm, matter of fact, hey, let's get it out of here. We'll get, get it down here. Work with it. Okay. Here it is. Now squeeze that tab in right there and just unplug it. And this, of course, it won't let me do that. All right, the switch itself still looks good. Now we gotta figure out does it go, does it hang in like that and plug in or at the bottom? Huh. Uh, let's get back up under there. Looks like it would have to go towards the top in order not to interfere with anything. Oh, man. All right, guys, be right back. All right, I'm looking at this switch here. Is that supposed to be like that? See how messed up that is? In Side there. I mean, that right there activates this. Huh. Wait a minute, I just snapped something back into place. Like something just. You know what, guys? I'm gonna take a get a picture of a new one and see how it looks. Bear right back. All right, guys, I got it. Check this out. Let's look. Let's go out here. We got a little more light. You see, uh, you see how that's damaged right there, inside there? Whoops. See how that's damaged? What happened was, this switch is supposed to mount up under the dash, like this. So when you push on the brakes, the rod from the master cylinder pushes in on that little button right there and operate the brake lights. You see all those scarred up? <coughs> Because he had the wiring harness, and you notice when I took it apart, there was no, that there was a plug in there, a little um, Christmas tree thing that plugs up in there to keep the harness out of the way. Hers was originally faced like this. So, it jammed up against there and kept the brake lights on. So, what we're going to, this is kind of damaged right now. So, what we're going to do is go up under there, reposition it like it's supposed to be. And that's going, that's supposed to be just like this. And the harness is going to come around and lock into there and go into there. And that's the way it should work. So we're going to reposition like that. Apologize for the lighting. because Let me see if we can get a better light because I don't have my other light. My Big Bill flashlight. Dang it, Big Bill going to be upset. But let's re reposition this. And we should be definitely okay. Let's get back under there. Be right back. Alright, here we go guys. We're back up under here. Got me a better light. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Explain to the situation. Explain the customer to the situation, and what we're gonna do is go up under here. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I mean, let's see if I can get this thing to hold or put the camera down or something. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna get up under here. Now here's the harness. They didn't have this connected to the brake light switch, as you saw that when we first started. So we're gonna put this back. And put it in the position that it was supposed to be in. Yeah, dang it. I wish I could show you guys. 
how this is supposed to go. If you can see the, you see the brake pedal and you see the rod that I'm just moving right there. Now that rod, the other rod that is go that's going around it, go to the master cylinder. The flat end should push up against the brake light switch. Now because this the harness, because he had the harness wrapped around, it twisted the thing, so it caused the brake lights to stay on. So we're gonna get this situated on because uh, I'm not gonna be able to record this part. I need to though. Uh, huh. So, uh, we'll be right back. All right guys, back. What I can do though, is show you how this connects up to here. First, we plug it. Let's get this out. First, we're gonna plug this back up. Plug this switch back up. Dang it. All right, we got that plugged up. The next we're gonna do, see this harness? We're gonna wrap this harness around and plug it up into the switch right here. Just like that. And it's gonna go up on that brake pedal assembly, just like this right here. All right, so let's get this on. Be right back. All right, guys, let's get up. Let's get the camera up under here. Now you see how I got it. That's the way it should look. And if you notice, the rod back there is going between on each opposite side of the brake light switch. Now hers was facing towards the back. So now, when you step on the brakes, that rod pushes up against the brake light switch and cuts the brake lights on as simple as that and hopefully we didn't mess nothing not we you know what I'm talking about he ain't messed nothing up but we didn't finish yet what we gotta do is go to the other side and hook back up on our clip so let me get the clip on and I'll be right back all right there we go we got our clip on the retainer on the other side and you know what let's Get us a light here. Let's uh try to position this light in a way where you can guys can see it. I know it's dark as anything up under there. Now, let's see what happens when we move our pedal now. Look at that. Look at that. Slides right by it. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is go in the back and make sure the brake lights come on. Just make sure that switch is not damaged. Be right back. All right guys, I'm gonna have the customer step on the brakes and you can see, look at this thing. This thing was really heating up. We go to the other side and that was heating up as well. All right, ready? All right, let it go. Step on again. Let it go. Great. Perfect. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Hi, guys. I'm Crystal, and um, we fixed and diagnosed the problem to the 2001 Ford Expedition, which was a brake issue. Um, if Astro can't fix it, no one can fix it. <laughs> all right. All right. Where you going? Where you going, Chris? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, if you have any questions, if put them in the comment section. Questions, put it in the comment section below, and... Um, it would be awesome to call them. They will do your job for you. There you go. <laughs> okay. You guys. I'm ready. Whatever you're ready. Hey. They just started off like you. How did you start off before? I said, hey guys, we're here with Astro. There you go. Harvard. Perfect. And just look into the camera. I like the camera's not there. I can't because the camera is there. So, <laughs> after conversation with me referring to Astro, you can't stare at me like that. <laughs> All right, let's try this. If it don't work, it don't work. But right, let's what try. the? Hey, that's right. Go ahead. Hey guys, we're here with Astro Auto Repair to diagnose, which has been diagnosed with a brake switch problem, which someone prior had been messing around with the harness on the truck, 
and wires were wrapped around the brake system. And you should leave your comments below. If you want your vehicle fixed properly, call Osto, or, sorry, Astro Auto Repair. <laughs> Thanks.